when it's old and bad Thoughts come to me and fade away Ghost and dreams I've always had Welcome back guys, Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee and today we're going for a test drive in a 1980 Pontiac Trans Am. This one's got the 4.9 turbo. Got power steering, power brakes. We'll be taking it down the road, pointing out any kind of flaws. So you know exactly what you're getting before you get here. So check out maplemotors.com. We have financing and shipping available for you. We also have about 100 detailed pictures of every car. On Mondays, you can check out all the new inventory, and that's the best chance for you to pick up a car from us. We run through about 60 cars a month. Be sure to hit subscribe, share, hit like. That does help me out quite a bit. Check out some of our other social medias. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, we're gonna look around the interior on this car. Go ahead and place your bets. You think that horn works? It's a game we like to play on the channel. A little bit of nice information to keep with the car here. So we'll be careful with that. Looking across the dash, pretty good shape. Got a crack over here though. Across the center console, pretty good shape. Seats look good. Interior is actually nice. Let's start her up. And try some stuff as the wipers. I don't think the wipers are gonna work on. Oh, there they go. Just took a second. A little slow there. I think they were hanging up. You can see how they're kind of hanging up there. Help it back down, shut her off. Go ahead and cut the radio off here. Let's see. I'll have to help them back down. Wipers do need some service. A couple little parts there to your seat belt. Looking around on the dash, boost gauge. Looks like it's working. Hard to stand behind mileage on these cars. We got gas in this one, we don't need any. Let's try the AC. The compressor is not kicking on on this one, but the blower motor is working. Radio was working as well. Tack seems to be coming up, and that clock's working. Full pressure on this one's fluctuating as well and the engine temperature's coming up so we're all good on that what about that orange you place your bets because if you said it's working it doesn't turn signals i can hear them but they're not popping up on the dash the right side is left side the bulb must be out you got some issues up here around the t-top area around some of them panels over here on the sides package trays in pretty good shape your headliner here has got a few dry spots other than that let's hit the road see how she runs and drives we're gonna take off down the road any flaws I see I will let you know that's exactly why I do these videos let's take off here got her in gear I'm gonna pull on up a little bit we've got a lot of shipping trucks sitting out front and uh, they've got her jammed up come on you're good I'm waiting on you well, I ain't waiting on you no more. <laughs> All right, let's rock and roll. Speedometer's coming up on the dash here. She's pulling strong. I'm barely getting into the gas. But we do got a hard pull to the left. See, when I let go of it, it pulls me over there. We pass this car. We'll hit the brakes. Let's try them out. Brakes feel good. There's speedo cable making some ticking noise. Car's pretty quick. That's nowhere near floor. That was a little over half throttle. It feels pretty good. Good pickup. Kick down hooked up on this one. I definitely hear ticking from that speedo cable. It's pretty loud right behind the dash. Still pulling to the left, as you can see. Other than that, it's pretty tight. So suspension-wise, brake-wise, 
plenty of power all that is is in good shape just got a left pull as we're driving down the road and a speedo cable that's ticking a lot so we're gonna get to this parking lot over here I'm gonna get some undercarriage shots light everything up for you we're also gonna drive by the camera and get some exterior shots after that I'll head on back to the lot and we'll do the walk around picking out chips scratches and flaws I'll be right back Make sure to look below in the description to see all the stuff we use to make these videos. I got Amazon links to all of it. Getting ready to take off, head on back to the lot. So far, so good. I just did the walk around video. I'll be putting that towards the end of this one. I try to do that away from the lot just because the amount of uh, customers do come up in the middle of the video. It just kind of gives me a little bit of a, a way time over here to make sure I don't miss anything for you. And that's just where I'm picking out the flaws on the paint inside and underneath. And now we're gonna take a little bit of a long way back and go pick up another car, do some more test drives. y'all hear that speedo cable still it's making all kinds of racket
still got a little bit of a left pull there. Suspension's nice and smooth. It's shifting out right. If you just floor it, it does have a slight hesitation. got some good get up and go that's for sure I want to watch out for that top I noticed it was loose earlier I don't want it coming out anywhere it looks like it's locked in here but that front edge there is not locked in so I'm gonna mess with it when we get back to the lot I seen that when I was doing the walk around video which you'll see here in just a moment uh, as soon as we get back to the lot we'll be going over all that little stuff on the car I was hoping they wouldn't turn here give them a little space So far, it's just got a few little things that need to be addressed. So stick around to the end of the video here. We're going to be picking out the flaws. I thank you for watching the test drive. If you liked it, hit subscribe. See you later. Okay, getting ready to walk around this car. Point out chip scratches and flaws. Um, paint job on the front's a little weak. You can see there's a lot of clear coat missing a lot of paint kind of thinned out so we're going to be looking around for rust and dents on this car mainly let's go ahead and get started here look at the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com and we'll try not to miss nothing see up under here the paint's kind of peeling tires on it it's pretty good shape open over the fender got some freehand pinstriping rock guard at the bottom here There's some chips at the bottom there too. Lots of chips down here. A little chip there. Also off in the back. Some bubbles popping up here. Also got some paint chipping in the back here. Back the mid section. There's a scratch right there. Or freehand pin striking right here. Big old chip up there.
front windshield on this one it's got a chip right here and a light scratch from that windshield wiper down in the jams nice and solid looks pretty good up your pillar t-tops t-tops sticking up windows don't look too bad you got some light scratches on top there back windows not too bad coming up on the back here got some light cracks around that pin striping looking down in your trunk does not look too bad shut this down down in your jams weather stripping's older but still in decent shape coming on down with it turbo trans amp i like that that's pretty cool Light scratch over here. Coming down this side, lower portion first. It's all kicked out to the side. Good tires on the back. Light scratch back here. A couple chips up and over. There's a chip right there. Right here as well. Lots down here on the back portion. couple of there it's up here and the flap and over back at mid section Like scratch right here. So we got some chips and scratches up here on top. Trying to make them pop out through the video here for you. Spend a little extra time on some of the bigger ones. A little hazy in the back. Some wax probably buff that out if i did that too much it'll probably come back <laughs> i already made a nice shiny spot good wax job buff job would work out really well on this car actually got some chips right here on the inside of that your front windshield here has got a nice scratch from the windshield wipers bubble there on top too okay let's go ahead and check out the inside get her started up so your door panel on this one is in great shape it's pretty good you do got a little spot down here where people are kicking it getting in and out weather stripping's a little weak on the edges looking at the bottom jams the seat on this one's got some rips in it the back back here is a little faded on some of the paneling too
go ahead and start her up. Down here, looks like carpet's missing in that little section. Um, let's try the windshield wipers now that the hood's up. I guess they're still not gonna work. Only reason I was trying, because as soon as I hit the ignition, they actually went down a little bit more. So they need some help. Passenger seat's got a nice little crack in it right here. Needs a headliner in this one and some visors. Look at that. Sounds pretty good. so it's kind of warping everything but it does give a good overall view if you don't like wide lens let me know if you do i'll keep using it i'm gonna just try it out for preference up under the hood not in bad shape coming on down with the hood here comes down nice and easy front end there it's just got a lot of paint chips and scratches you got some chips right there on the edge of your hood right here in the middle paint a little thin right there on the point you got some chips on the edges of the fender there on the inner part You can see right here where there used to be some more pin striping and it's not there anymore. I was coming up in the middle of the hood. Okay guys, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit subscribe, share, hit like. I'll keep these videos coming your way. We're gonna go ahead and head back to the lot and uh, pick up another ride for another test drive. Check out MabelMotors.com. I have financing, shipping. We update every Monday with new inventory. And uh, don't forget, like, subscribe, share. That does help me out. Thanks guys, see you later.